Hello everyone, this is Al Ahmad Gaid Bersad from Alsa, and this time I'm going to show you how to compute for SSR, SSE, and SST using matrix computation in R. So what we're going to do is that we're going to run first our data in SPSS, and then we're, after that we're going to take the output of that, which is the ANOVA table, we're going to focus on that, where we can find the values of SSR, SSC, and SST. And then so we are going to use that output and we're going to compute also the matrix competition of SSR, SST, and SSC in R. And we need to arrive on that output. So I hope um, since you are actually watching this video, so I hope you have already knowledge on this multiple location. Now I have here my data which is we have here the salary, service, and age. These are the variables we have. And so our dependent variable will be the salary. And our independent variables are service and age. Now, what we're going to do is that just let's make it a simple computation. So we're going to use only one independent variable, which is service, and our dependent variable, which is the salary. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is that we're going to run this. So let's go to Analyze, and then Regression, Linear. And so our dependent variable will be monthly salary, and our independent variable will be the length of service. So how do I do you input it into this box? This is how you do it. If you don't know that, uh, just let me show you this. One. So this is the monthly salary, this is the dependent variable, enter that here, and the length of service also here. I mean, yes, if you don't have idea how to do that. Well, okay. Now, this time let's press OK so that we can have the output. Now, here it is. Here is the ANOVA table, which we are going to take on the values of the SSR, SSE, and SST. This is the value of SSR, which is the squared, I mean, sum of squared regression. And then this is the SSE, or the error sum of squared and this one is the total or the total sum of the square. Yes. Okay, now this time we are going to use the formula of SSR, SSC, and SST in matrix, and we're going to compute that in R, and let's see if we are going to arrive at these values using the data we have. Okay. Now, before we start in R, let us know first what are what are the formulas of SSR, SST, and SSE. So I have here um, the notes, I mean the presentation of Frank Wood, and you can check out on the description. And so here, he presented uh, formulas for SSR, SST, and SSE. And I know, I hope you really know the formula of this one. So we have here the SST, which is Y prime times an identity matrix minus 1 over n times the matrix J which has an inverse of 1 in rows and columns and later I'm going to explain that and we have the dependent variable Y and this Y prime is actually the transpose transpose of the Y prime okay now for SSC we have here another um, variable H the value of H is actually this one this is worse Okay, this is our h, which is equal to the independent variable times x prime x inverse of that and x prime. And there we go. So let's try and input first our theta. So I'm going to put it here. Yes. And then open R. Here it is. And so let's try and input our theta. So first, we have our Y, which is actually the monthly salary. So monthly salary. Yeah, it's too long. We have this variable monthly salary. And here is the data I have already. I input it already in Notepad so that we don't waste time in typing, inputting it in R. So just paste it there. Enter that. And then the length of service also, length of service, I mean length of service only. Copy that also. Paste it here. Enter that. So there you go. 
Now, I mean, the formula for R is a matrix. It says Y, this is the formula for R. This is the Y hat, or Y. This is the, the, the uh, this is the formula of, I mean, how, uh, what is this, the, yes, just say it, a formula, a formula for R, or Y, how do we input it in a matrix? It's actually an N by 1, I mean N by, yes, it's N by 1. And for our x, or the independent variable, it's n by 2, in which the first column is, consists of 1, 1, where that, the purpose of that is for us to, um, what is this, because our independent, independent variable is multiplied to the beta, and so that 1 will be, uh, what is this, will be the place where we can input our beta when we are going to multiply it to x. So that we have this beta x. And so I hope you understand. And so you can check that out in your notes if you have. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to input here 1. And before that, I need to know first how many 1 will I'm going to input. So I'm going to take on the length of service. Length of service. Make sure that the spelling is correct. It's 30. So I'm going to input 30 here 31 I mean I'm going to an input 1 30 I mean there are 30 of them so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 I hope that's correct so let's try and 62 oh my god so we are going to delete 2, 1, so let me make it 60 because, okay, so let's try, uh, okay, there you go. Now we're going to make a um, matrix, let's make it a matrix, so first of all, Y, it should be a matrix, and this is the monthly salary, the salary, okay. Sorry for that. Monthly salary and comma and n. What is this? Since it is n by one, so it's n call. Let's make n call and let's make one only and our n row. I mean by row. By row should be um true. Okay. Is that right? So let's try. And so here it is, yes. So that's how you input your data since our matrix, this is our matrix, which is n by 1. So we have 30 by 1. We have 30 by 1. And for our x, I'm going to show you how we're going to input for our independent variable x. It should be matrix. And should be matrix and we have this um, what was that that is length service all right and call is two and by row is true yes so if I say X so here it is but oops this is not what I mean I mean by row so one one I ah, yeah, yes 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 I'm so sorry, it's viral, it's false. So, here it is. So we have now our x, which is actually an n by 2. Okay, n by 2. We have here 1. This is the entries for our beta when we are going to multiply our independent for variable x with beta. So our beta will be here. I don't know, that's that's why what I understand. But you can confirm that. Okay, so... We have now our X and our Y. And guys, I'm going to stop here because it's already, I mean, it's nearly 10 minutes. And just watch on my on the next part of my video. Thanks for watching, guys.